You're listening to the Angry Marks Podcast Network. All right, Tag. Morning, sir. Will Huckabee, you're up, buddy. All right. Um, I wanted to go back, Tony, if you don't mind, uh, to a statement right. you made earlier. To a statement you made earlier with Rick when you were saying, uh, you know, you learned uh, Pondo touch rooms and stuff and how to protect yourself. As a guy who doesn't do uh, a lot of hardcore and death and death matches, uh, how can uh-huh. you tell the difference? How can you tell the difference when somebody's actually working? And when somebody's trying to hurt you, being that you're getting hit with all of these these objects and stuff. Well, I mean, just like, okay, if I swung something at you, and just, just say if I take a light tube, okay, and I got a light tube in my hand, there's a proper way to swing that without getting hurt. You know, uh, if I swing all the way through and follow through, I'm, of course I'm going to cut you because you got jagged edges like that. You know, I, here I am giving away hardcore secrets, but, you know, you're swinging the light tube. <laughs> And you're going to pull back off of it as soon as you make contact, you know. That's going to pop it right there. But a lot of times, see, me and Pondo, Necro, and all of us, we wouldn't swing them. All of ours, all of ours was wrestling moves into the t- tubes, you know. We want to be different than everybody else. A lot of guys, like I said, cover up, you know, because they ain't got wrestling abilities. So they'll, they'll fucking gig themselves or, or, or fucking, you know, color and to hide their wrestling abilities. So they can lay there and sell and bleed, you know. Mm. But there is proper I, technique to everything, you know. Oh yeah. Now getting back to to working with with JCW and everything. Um, right. You know, it, it's no big secret that a lot of wrestlers and stuff, uh, especially back when they first started, didn't really respect ICP uh, because they were right. musicians. They didn't realize that they already had uh, wrestling backgrounds. They had worked the indie circuit. Uh, how did how did you feel about it when you was first? Um, contacted by ICT to come work for them at, at JCW. What was your first impression? Well, uh, I'll tell you the whole story, man. It's like, uh, so Pondo calls me up. He goes, hey, Tony, uh, ICT wants us to come do a tour for him. I'm like, what? You know, he's like, yeah, man, they watched our match. Me and Pondo did a match at Dan Curtis Memorial, and that's how uh, ICT, well, they, they knew Pondo a little bit, but then that's when they got a little taste of me. That's when I, I, I mean, I still do them, but like, I did the big courts through, to the floor, you know, through the tables and stuff. And they seen all the stuff that we do, and they was like, man, we want these guys on our tour. Which, you know, reminds me, I used to double up as Leatherface, so I would be working twice when we was out on tour with them. I'd work as Leatherface, Corp was working as Jason, and then I'd work as Too Tough Tony. That's before really Corp even came on the scene. But, uh, yeah. Will. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I said, <laughs> give me the question one more time, please. Oh. I've, I've lost the train of thought, and I said, that's what <laughs> weed and alcohol does to you. <laughs> okay, I wonder, what was your first impression about working with ICP? Oh, I, I was ecstatic. You know, uh, here it is, a famous rap group wants us to come work for them, you know. And uh, fuck, my first impression was like, wow, you know. And, 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 of course, I knew they had money, you know. They they paid everybody really good, you know. So it, everything was good, man. Uh, like w- me and Pondo show up in Novi, Michigan. They had a warehouse up there. And there's three big ass tour buses sitting out there. So we go in. We're sitting around, and uh, Joe comes out. He says, "Tony, come here a minute." He goes, "Man, I want you ride on my bus." You know. I'm like, "Damn." I go back to Pondo, and then uh, I was like, "Man, that's awesome," you know. So I go back to Pondo, and I say. Pondo, Joe wants me to ride with him. He said, well, go ahead, you know. I'm like, man, you know. So I get on the bus with Joe, and uh, so we start this tour. And me and Joe just start kicking it around, man. We became good homies, man. And uh, the moral of this story is I'm going to is that fucking, you know, we had our bus, Joey had his bus, and then the wrestlers had their bus. So, you know, every time we'd hit, Fucking after the show, our bus would get up and leave and head to the next town. But the wrestler bus would get to stay back. So they was getting mad pussy, man. And I was <laughs> mad as a motherfucker. I was like, man. I look at Joe, I'll be like, we got to leave tonight? He's like, yeah, man, we're off to the next town. I'm like, man, in back of my head, I'm going, man, they're getting so much fucking ass. You know, they're just doing a show, and the, they got the tour bus out there. So all the chicks are wanting to get up on the tour bus, check it out. So that's giving them a uh, fuck a little bit of credit, and you know they was just getting mad skins out there. You know, I was like, "Fuck, here I am riding with Valen J." You know, 
I couldn't go back to a wrestler bus because I was like, man, you know. But that, that was the only downfall on that whole tour. Now, working, now you've worked several of the, the Gathering of the Juggalo shows. I've worked uh, every one of them. And so, as I've seen videos and stuff uh, of the shows, are they real? Is that gathering really as wild, or is it even wilder? And there's things that they can't show on video. Well, of course. I mean, I mean, I mean, what don't they show in their videos? I got fucking naked chicks just walking around. Some some chick getting fucked on drug bridge. Uh, <laughs> you know, they got all kinds of shit that goes on there. But you know, it's like different different strokes for different folks. You know, it's. Uh, they might have Primer 55. They might have Ice Cube. They might have uh, Snoop Dogg. You know, they might have Master P. They might have uh, I'm trying to think some uh, heavy metal bands. You know, they got they got a different flavor for every walk of life that likes something different than anybody else. You know, always going on twenty twenty four hours a day for four days. So are you glad? You know, are you? Are you glad that the fans don't throw anything, uh, throw anything in the ring nowadays? <laughs> Man, I tell you what, back in the day when we first started, I mean, I'm glad I always been a baby face. Let's just put it that way. I mean, because they would get pelted. And, you know, as time went on, you know, I got hit with a couple of shits. You know, not like shit, but I got hit with some things. But it's friendly <laughs> fire. That's the way I look at it, like friendly fire. I just happened to be in the way they were throwing it at, you know, my opponent or something. And, you know, but, I mean, nowadays, you know, once we went from Juggalo Championship Wrestling to Juggalo Championship Wrestling, we, we turned a new leaf. We wanted everybody to take us seriously, you know. Back then, it was cool. It was something different. But, you know, nowadays, we, I mean, we, we get the top workers that come to JCW. This is the Undisputed Wrestling Show. We can be found at www.angrymarks.com. And if you'd like to check out the archives, check out all of our past shows, you want to hear James E. Cornette, you want to hear Madman Pondo and Crazy Mary Dobson, you want to hear the Necro Butcher, some of the other hardcore legends, check out www.theundisputedwrestlingshow.weebly.com. Tell Vader sent you. We are talking to two tough Tony. Uh, woo woo. <laughs> well, Woo <Woo-woo> is right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was checking you guys out, okay? So, you know, I, I'm trying to do my research on you guys, right? Uh-huh. So, so I right. find the Undisputed Wrestling Show and go to com. And you know what? You guys tweet it 683 times, okay? And yeah. you're followed by 862 fans. And hold on. Yeah, you're following 862 fans, and you have 151 followers. So today, I want to say, let's bring this up to 251 followers. Well, Go check what, them out. Tony, I, I, I got a hold of you through Twitter, and I, I must confess that Twitter is not my biggest thing, and I'm just now really starting to, right. starting to contact the wrestlers. I, I do most 99.9% of my damage on Facebook. We have... 1200 right. bands on Facebook, so we have a, big, a bigger audience there. But we're working this Twitter thing, and you're—I think you're my well, first one to off of Twitter. Well, hey, I—I I, I was excited when you asked me to do it. You know, I'm just sitting over here getting drunk or something. You know, and I'm like, "Fuck, something else to do on Tuesday night at nine o'clock." Just every That's Tuesday or that, once a month? Every single Tuesday, but my friend. Every, and I seen the hot chick you got coming up next week. You know it. No, no, she's on What's tonight. Name? She, no, no, she's on after you are, Tony. Oh, she's coming on tonight. I want to be on too. Shit, I got well, some questions for her. Absolutely, you Shit. can. It's you all good, I'm man. Gonna, I'm, I'm, in... I'm gonna tell all my friends here a tough, a too tough Tony story. I sent him a <laughs> sent him a reminder yesterday via Twitter that hey, Tony, just remind me about the show tomorrow night. And he says, no problem. Give me a call at nine o'clock. And then I get on get on there this morning to take a look at things, and it says, "What happened?" So I tweeted back to Tony. I said, "No, Tony, it's not yet Monday. It's Tuesday night at nine o'clock." <laughs> what did you, you send me back, Tony? That's what that's what beer does to your alcohol. Yeah, that's what beer. what drinking. <laughs> that's what alcohol does to you. It fucks your mind up, man. But <laughs> in, in, on a side note, you know, to be honest with you, all the way real, and I ain't told nobody. I've kept this a whole secret since January first. 
I got a building in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Whoa. And I got I got my ring up. I I've done got the entryway built. I got guys out there now painting the floor. The name of my place is called the Arena. And what we do oh, here God. at the Arena what we do here at the Arena, we put on shows, uh we put on birthday parties, you know, we uh weddings, you know, if you want to get married and you need Bill Dundee at your wedding as your best man, two tough Tony can make that happen. How fucking awesome is that? 